Hello friends, we're turning the air conditioner off the back so none of our friends try to come visit Kaylee and I because it's gonna be like an oven back here later when it's 100 degrees, but we'll be fine. We bake just fine. We like the summertime, y'all. I feel a little bit. She bit. said she's a little crispy today. Like I don't get crispy and I am. Crispy? Yeah, because I was like, I'll get a base tan. I don't need sunscreen at the tournament. As I was sunscreening my mom's feet, game three I realized she her feet were out. And then she said they weren't burning until I sunscreened them. And I'm like, Mary Kay, your little toes, your little abeno toes are so oh, red. Gosh. You guys, I'm wearing like a mullet outfit, like cute top, comfy shorts, and cute shoes. Oh, this is not even shirt. a mullet. This is like a meat. I don't know what you call it. Yeah, that's more than a mullet. But um, y'all, what? Yeah, if those. these are not the cutest hats you've ever seen. So I don't know. Cute. You know, I have the one with all the color on it. But uh, other than this one feather needs calmed down. You got to Stacey will fix that. So freaking cute. That's real turquoise. Real so turquoise. So freaking cute. It's Makeup Monday. So what did y'all do this weekend? Kaylee went to uh, the soccer tournament. I went to the horse. I also had y'all. I woke up to. Oh, there's even more. I haven't even told Kaylee. Oh my Kayla, gosh, here we go. Let's do it. We got. It's Makeup Monday. I haven't Monday. told I got her. Time. Um, so I get up Saturday morning, y'all. I'm looking for my neon boot stitch shirt that I wore. And I had also hung, have a shipment. I had hung some stuff over on Will's side of the closet. And I stepped over there and there is water under my feet in the closet. So I start freaking out. My air conditioner had been leaking. I'm going to guess for at least a week, maybe two weeks, as much water as there was is what we were kind of thinking. Um, okay, but you know the old store when the condensation thing and when it dumped that all happened at once Well, Dylan just said like we talked Stop. about it and from Stop. what Dylan looked at he said he kind of oh. figured it had been that long I But I'm just wasn't. glad I caught it. No, so I ended up pulling up I call my friend and I'm like, hey, what do I need to do? And he tells me what to do So I do that and he's like Stacy if it's not dry by tomorrow You're gonna have to pull that carpet up and just make sure there's no mold under there and I was like, okay. And so I was praying to God that it was going to be dry when I got home. Maybe your horse still is getting it. Have I told you he's been saying that a lot? Uh -uh, what? What? Praying to God. Oh, maybe. <laughs> I mean, like, we pray, but he's been saying, I prayed to God. Mm -hmm. And we're like, where is he getting that? Probably me. Like, he prayed to God that <laughs> the uh, Ferris wheel wouldn't stop because he didn't want to get off. And then he prayed to God that Sherry wouldn't... Um, you know, guess whatever he was doing. That's so hilarious. he must be getting it from you. Yeah, it's got to Cheryl, be. Cheryl, we're ready funny. for pool party. You ready? Yes, except for Cheryl, I gotta go find a swimsuit today because you had bottoms. You just need a top. Yeah, Wear a bra. Nobody cares. Well, that's why I um brought a bra. Okay, you were praying to God. Yeah, go I was back like, to that, and I'm gonna swatch like, these on new the things. Way home, I had asked Will, said, this. "Is it dry?" And he said, "Oh, that's pretty." He was like, "Is I think, it though?" That's a lot. He was like, "Yeah, I like that." Okay, so the gents, what are we doing here? It reminds me of like the peony pink and chilled pink had a baby. What are you talking about? Mm, yeah, I like that. I love, you don't love the pink? I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I'm going to figure it out. Where is I the love pink? the mixture. I've seen everybody mixing them. Look how good they mix together. Look at that. I love the pink. I love I the mean, coral. I like both colors. But. Would you like to wear it today? What do I have on? What did I wear? I don't know. Um, I can try the coral. Oh, thank heavens. More climate control. Spray your whole body. Uh, I did forget the other thing, though. But, okay, y'all. So, I got home. It was still... Will said it was damp. And I was like, was it dry? Like, how how damp is it? How he was like, I don't know. And I was like, okay, I'll look at it when I get home. So, I get home. And I'm like, yeah, it's just still too damp. He's like, what does that mean? He's. I said, we're going to have to rip the carpet up right here and see. And he was like, it was 1130 or midnight. And he's like, we are not ripping the carpet up right now. I was like, okay, fine. So we did it first thing yesterday morning, but there was no mold. Neotite is back, y'all. I have been like three days without Neotite under eyes. That's going home with me. There was no mold, so that was I'm thankful for that. So yesterday the cement dried out, and then I got the pad to dry out, and now I'm just waiting on the carpet to dry out so we can figure that out. And my awesome air conditioner guy came yesterday morning and fixed my air conditioner. So, but. What was wrong with it? Uh, the drain, it's an old one, and so that's what Dylan was talking to Will on the phone about the drain, and Will's like, there's not a T that you're talking about. Well, Dylan gets there, and he's like, no, there's not a T. So Dylan put in the T because we couldn't see that the drain was stopped up because it was all, like, something. I don't know. You remember Chase was like, well, where was asking? He's like, where's that water coming out of? I was like, I don't know that time that we looked at it. Yeah. And it was because it was old school wired in. So Dylan put a T in so we can tell if the drain's ever plugged again. But... 
Allison, we're having a swim party at Cheryl's house tonight. Bring LB. Um, y'all. Cheryl, do you want to order the pizza from somewhere and I'll pay for it and pick it up? Well, I was going to say, I was thinking, I brought a shrimp cocktail to eat for lunch today. And I thought about going and getting a big shrimp cocktail and taking it over there. I know we talked about having pizza too, but shrimp cocktail and pizza? I mean, why not? I mean, I love shrimp cocktail. I know. But she's just trying to have shrimp cocktail with I'm me. eating it for Charlie's lunch today. Charlie's going to kill me, y'all. All my nails were breaking off this weekend. Um, I did a lot of uh, jumping. We should do Bubba's pizza, she said. Perfect. So you want me to pick it up on my way? Well, yeah, that's what, I mean, it, yeah, any of us can. That's what, that's what I was going with that, is that I was thinking. Is Stacey allowed to bring shrimp cocktail? Oh, I mean, no, I, I don't have a foundation brush in here. Um, <laughs> not using yours. I haven't even used it. It's brand new. Show it to Cheryl. Y'all, I just brought. Show it to Cheryl. I does Cheryl know what? No, I'm just saying. <laughs> see what Cheryl says. Okay, y'all. I just bought this at Walmart last night because my other one, y'all, is us the in end. here. See how the end? I'm gonna show you the end in a second. But see how this one looks like this. So I needed a new one and I just saw this at Walmart last night and I was like, I'm going to snag that because it will fit perfect in like a travel bag where I'm thinking I'll probably get another one of these and leave it at home. And then this one can be like my travel one. Um, but y'all, it has this deal on the end and it said it's supposed to be like your finger. So you can totally use this. I'm going to like put it on like I would because, you know, some people are like, that seems weird. Use the end of your brush. I liked that it had a little applicator like that. Kaylee was making fun of it. You are the dirtiest Hi. person I know. Hi. I literally. Okay, y'all. So okay, I put anyway. on. Kaylee's already put on her climate control. Then I put on oh, my I daytime my whole moisturizer. At home. It's already on stories. If you'd like to see what I put on before makeup, that was done. Mm -hmm. You saw me putting on my uh, silk. My on. bag was Gosh, in my look car. Look how white my face looks compared to my body. Ashley, I Ashley, look you too would. <laughs> Thank you, Ashley. She pulls it out. And I'm like, what? Me literal? It is a brush. I did not think it looked anything dirty at all. And Anyways, this is supposed to be, subject. listen, well, this part is supposed to be where you can clean your makeup brushes with this. Like you can rub this on your other and you're supposed to be able to use it. Mm -hmm. It was a three in one, Ashley. Get off of it. Kaylee's about to use it as a four in one. So, okay, y'all, I have on color correcting tint moisturizer and the tiniest bit of some pecan. And let me tell y'all, my kid and my husband yesterday were telling me how white my face was compared to the rest of my body because I haven't been tanning my face and I normally don't just mix tan this. Your face. And I told Tegan, Tegan, one day we you're gonna get Botox. We know you don't eat shrimp cocktail. And um, I said, you're gonna want Botox. And she was like, I don't think I'll ever need filler in my lips. And I was like, no, you're never gonna need filler in your lips. Your lips are gorgeous. Yeah, she will when she gets You think white. her lips will eventually? Yeah, they deflate. And then you gotta Tegan's pump them back up. Yeah, people with I'm good lips. I'm not until she's like old, old. So she may not care. Oh. This is fair concealer, you guys. And the good news is we were out of French toast last week, which is what I contour with, but I got two of them in this bucket. So I quit using it until. I'm hoping she's just sure that phone calls reminding me that I have court. I think I've got court on Wednesday, Lara. Oh. I've got to go. Um, Y'all, we had bought a truck and the title was not done on it properly. So if you ever do that, they will do it. You can go through the court system and get a new title. They just like check you to make sure it's not stolen. We had a title. The person that had it before us, like two people before us, did not title it. They skipped taxes, which is illegal if y'all don't know that. So you can totally, though, if you get in a bind like that where Will didn't look at the title before he like bought it and seen what it had on well, would it. Would he even be able to tell when you look at the yeah. title? Yeah. Um, I mean, that's what. So to used to, I used to make him send me pictures of the title because I worked at the tag office and. There was one that he had like got us in a deal in and I had to go th jump through some hoops to get the title. So that's where I'm at again, because he sent me that title and I was like, surely that's not the title, right? And he was like, yeah, this is the title. And I was like, I'm gonna kill you. So if you ever get into that kind of bind where you buy something like that or a boat or anything like that, you can go to the courthouse and tell them, they will like check to make sure it hasn't been registered stolen anywhere. And I don't know what happens when you buy something that's registered stolen like I'm that. I'm assuming but. you, Lose money and you have yeah, to get it back. Yeah, exactly. So, but luckily, it wasn't. They had told me it's already came through. Yeah, and as soon as I came and did my stuff, I would get the title on it. So, but I didn't. I told them they were like, "What time do you want court?" And I was like, "Whatever you got open on a Wednesday." <laughs> That's literally what I said. What time do you want court? Yeah, because I like could pick my time or whatever. Um. Okay, I'm gonna use the new. Um, what's this called? 
Sunny, honey, what a cute name. On my eyes, alone, I'm telling y'all, you're gonna see me wear the combo of the two as blush all the time. I'm gonna do it alone. It's gonna be similar to terracotta. So I put that on y'all, and then I'm putting on this blush since, I don't know how long I've had this for a while. Um, and I only use like a teeny tiny bit every day. I use this fancy brush. Maybe I should buy any one of these. I don't know. Maybe I'll help you. Can't buy anything weird again. I did not buy anything weird. The fact that you I have such a dirty mind. Weird. Ashley probably would have never even said that if we hadn't already. She was on. no. This is so delayed. She was already saying that. You had already. This is on. sunny, honey. Sunny, honey. Oh, that's the color. Uh, hmm. Let me see that. I'll try that on the... I love like a bronzy orange look. And I love a coral look. I don't see me wearing that hot pink alone. Shoot. Like on your lips? These aren't You lipsticks. never wear... These oh, I called, thought they were lipsticks. Glowify Color Sense Multi-Use Cream Pigment. They're made to mix with stuff or wear wherever you want. That makes sense then because I was literally I'm thinking... I'm going to put it on my lips. I don't think I thought they were lipstick and you were just putting them everywhere. Because that's normal. That is normal. I'm watching y'all. Yeah, that's not cute. Hold on. But if you mix it with this one. <laughs> she said, yeah, that's not cute. Oh. Okay, y'all. I'm putting on this. This is my, this was the first going to eat with Sean. Call me when y'all get off. Okay. Um, y'all, this was the first Cinegence product oh, I ever owned in my life. Really? Yeah, this is the first thing that you made me start wearing, I think. Oh, no, I had lip scents. Sorry. I did. I had lip scents. I had fuchsia lip scents, and I had a red, but I don't remember what red I had. Because that was, like, the only thing I wore. And then whenever I started working I for Kaylee, that was before I worked for Kaylee. And then when I started working for her, she was like, why don't you put your makeup on until 3 o'clock in the afternoon? And I was like, because I rub my eyes so much you and were, my eyeliner rubs. We would go live rubs. later, so she would yeah. wait to put her makeup on. It drove me freaking nuts. Yeah, and she would be like, why don't you have your makeup on? I'm like, because it literally would be down my face. So I started showing her, like, put my makeup on, and then I would. It would run really bad, which I do rub my eyes really bad. But... This is perfect. It is called iSense. Um, it's long-lasting eyeliner pencil. It still does come down a little bit, y'all. But like I said, it's because I rub my own yeah, eyes. Yeah, mine doesn't move. All day long. I know, that's what I was telling them. Um, oh, so. See, but it's like really dry. So you'll probably like it. But by the time that I am home from work for the day, you know, but like at night I would go to stuff and even it would kind of run whenever I was wearing the other wear this, I could put it on and it doesn't run for at least like probably six or seven hours. And then I start rubbing my eyes y'all. And then it's a downhill spiral from I there. I wonder why you rub your eyes. I see you do I've got dry eye. eye. I'm supposed to put eye drops in them. But that seems like bigger of a mess than it is to just rub my eyes. So I've got prescription eye drops, but. Can I use them? No, not really. So I put mine right here. We're putting on the same product. Mine's black, brown. Hers is black. I put mine in my waterline. Same. And I've always done that. Yeah, because that's where I ta was taught to put it in. Mine I've never changed gone. it. But a lot of people used to be I like, why do you do that? Use it for my brows a lot. Which is Are you no bra? <laughs> no, I have a bra piece down there. I wish this what they look like, Ashley. Oh, I know I was giggling the other day when y'all thought. I did almost go no bra today because I was worried it was going to hurt with my little bit of sunburn. I was. I put one on and it didn't hurt. Giggling. Uh, Ashley was going to disown me as a friend. No, she wouldn't. She would just crack up thinking that we were selling dirty She'd stuff. She'd be like, oh, good. Is that a new trend? Let's all go no bra. <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> Let's not start a trend like that. So, see, there's some people we do not want to see. Oh, that's what I was saying. Bra. I had that extra large tag on my shirt the other day, and y'all were like, it's your boob size. I'm like, y'all, my boobs may look big, but they're really not. They are not. They're like a full B right now, if I'm lucky, probably. Maybe maybe a C. I don't know. They ain't no C. <laughs> you don't think that they're a little? You don't think they're a little? Yeah. Is there another one of these and it looks to support girls? No. Because, is that a 16? Amy? Yeah, Amy's. So, Amy. So okay, we've got an 18, or the one, the right I, one is. Kylie might have accidentally wore it home, but we told her not to. No, she, we thought. She was going to Look over her. there. Because Kylie picked it up. And we were like, oh, crap, I think Amy got the wrong one. 
Sweet little Cheryl shipped her the 16 instead look, of the 18. Look in the actual deal and see if there's one for Amy Harrison over there. I told her to put Amy Harrison on a sticky note and Call put it Call Kylie over real fast. She had it. Oh, it's right here. Okay. okay. I'm like, I told her to do that. Okay. And then don't put that 16 out because I think Kylie's going to want it. Yeah. Unless you've already got it sold to somebody else. Kylie will really kill us all. Literally. She was like, can I have this? Literally. She's like, is there she one said, of those can left? I buy this? Yeah. Those are so good. Still stop. No one ever knows how the shirts work that are off the shoulder. I feel like I do what you're doing right now a lot. Because I would rather have an actual bra instead of wearing a strapless bra. But I feel like there's people that wear them with strapless bras. I just don't like strapless bras. I don't really bra. wear strapless bras. My boobs, even though they're just saggy, y'all. That's the issue. If they were perked up where they're probably supposed to be, they would probably actually be bigger. But they're just real saggy. So I keep saying, if I buy a new set, I would probably never get big boobs, though. I would get, like, C's. Full C's. It would be my... I liked my boobs when they were full C's. Because they're not too big. Not too big, not too small. Just right. Exactly. Just right. Okay, I don't know. Apparently, do you have a mascara? Because I've got a mascara in my hand and a mascara I was just using. Yeah, mine's in here. Okay, I must just have... This one must be an old one. No, that's still... Both of those look pretty new. Was there one back here? I wouldn't think so. I mean, I only had one. This one's like brand, brand new. That's no, There's no way that one's mine. I've did had mine just, for like a month. This one's mine. Open, I wonder. No, I mean, it was back here. I really no. thought it was inside I'm like, my did bag. Did I just pull it oh. out of accident? I don't know. I don't have my under eye brush. So this is going to be interesting. I'm just going to. Let's see what I'm going to. Um, what are y'all doing? What did y'all do this weekend? Ashley, what did you do, friend? She is playing summer soft or soccer. She was at the soccer tournament Saturday. Oh, okay. But they play Friday nights, too. They're playing three-on-three three every on. Friday night. I'm going to have to get close to the Do you want this little mirror over here? Oh, yeah. Here, I'll show you. You got summer soccer. But, yeah, she's at the soccer tournament with us. Oh, my gosh. Chase has been watching. I don't know if it's new or if it's um, old and we're just seeing it. Is anybody into the biking documentaries about the... Like Chase was a big biker when we met. I bought a bike. We never Mommy, rode it. He has like multiple bikes in our attic. Um, I was too scared, y'all. I bought a cute one. It was pink. You know, when you're in love and you buy stuff. Um, and then I was like, I am not riding a bike on a road. Like, not happening. So then we started running together. Because I was like, I'll run on a road, but I'm not biking. So we've been watching these. Mommy, 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 mommy. Um, there you go. And... It's crazy what those bikers go, like the actual professional cyclists. Is anybody else watching it? They were like texting me about professional soccer last night. And I was like, y'all lost me. I have no idea what you're talking about. Don't care. I'm not I driving like to Kansas I City. Watched but um, I'm a, watching cycling right now. A three, 30 by, what is it? What, what? The deal that ESPN puts, are they 30 by 30? Is that what they're called? Like the documentaries I watched on over Lance Armstrong. I think it's only like a cyclist deal I've watched. That's where we started. Is, okay. Is he? I think so. I think like it. He's was... the one who had cancer, right? Yeah, but I. I but they were talking about like the um, the doping is where it started. Like they drug us in, talking about all the doping and stuff. But now we're just like watching the races, and it's it was so tense. My back was so tense last night because I wanted this guy to win so bad. Back in 2020, I don't remember this, but the guy supposedly didn't do it on purpose, but he kind of like shoves him. There's two of them racing right till the end. Oh, and he... And he hits... Oh, he guy was in the coma for like a week. But that guy got the win. That guy got suspended. But I do believe that when you're that into the end of the race, it wasn't an intentional. But he got out of his line or something, they call it. Like, what he did, you're not supposed to do. But I really don't think he... Anyways, he shoved the guy into the side thing. And so, it was just a whole mess. And they're going so fast. They're I'm going sure so... Was... Yeah, they were sprinting literally at the end. Anyway, so then I was, you know, you're cheering for that guy to win when he finally came back. Well, that's good. It was intense. That does sound intense. I'm trying to think what I, I've been I'm going to throw watching. that away and take that new one because that one is... I've been watching Cold Case Files. What's that? Um, it's murder stuff. <laughs> Taryn, are you on? No. Uh, it is like... I think she's like really packed in the mornings because she's taking off early. I was going to... Oh. 
Um, I was trying to think. I have been watching that. I finished watching the rest of Bridgerton. It was good. Is Bridgerton the, like, British show or something? Yeah. Uh, and then... Can we just have one little conversation off topic real fast? Who is Tucker that looks and sounds like Morgan Wallen? Have y'all seen him? He has a song, and I thought it was Morgan Wallen. This was a while ago. I was like, is that? And Chase is like, no, but it sounds like him. Well, now I'm, like, seeing him on TikTok, and people him. are being so mean to him. They're like... Why? Call him a Morgan Wallen one because he has the mustache and he kind of has a little bit of long hair. Kind of looks like him. Kind of looks like a lot of lot of looks like him. Well, they need to go back and look. Like, was this always a thing, or was it like was he Morgan Wallen before Morgan Wallen was Morgan Wallen? <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, I would think this guy was younger, but I'm not sure. Like that's what I'm saying though. If he was, if his parents have always had him in a mullet. And he could grow a mustache uh, at 13. It's not a, it's not a mullet. It's you know what I mean? Not, but that's what I'm saying. It's not the full-on mullet like Morgan. It just looks longer. My point was Anyways, is anybody else? Look House too. of Dragons is what Ashley's telling you. What is House of Dragons? Well, the first TikTok I saw, he was in like shorts. And I'm like, his outfit looks nothing like Morgan. Yeah. But I had the double take. We did go and see Bad Boys yesterday when we turned the air conditioner off at the house. You had to turn yours off? Yeah. Well, oh, so we're you trying went to, get to the to, movie? Yeah, we went to the movie. We took taking the movies yesterday afternoon. Um, when it started getting real hot, we had turned the air conditioner off so that way maybe that carpet would still dry out faster. Why did y'all not come to the lake? Um, because Tegan had to go home last night and oh. I didn't want to drive to. She asked to go to the movies. I tried to take her swimming the other day. She didn't want to go swimming. I asked her what she would like to do and she said, can you and dad take me to the movies? And I was like, yeah. And so Will was like, figure out which movie you want to watch. She wanted to go see Bad Boys, which I was like. What is that? It's Will Smith and Eddie Murphy. There's like been, how many Bad Boys movies has like Oh, like that million? Bad Boys. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I hate that shit. I don't really like it either. She liked it? Yeah. She asked to go see. I tried to get her to go to see. I wanted to go see Mad Max Saga is what I wanted to go see. And I, I was like, it's an action movie. I don't find all that stuff movie. funny. I'm just not comical. Mad Max isn't funny. No, I'm talking about the bad boys. Yeah, no, like, like they the were stupid laughing. stupid humor. But y'all, there was a inappropriate part in there, and which we watch it on like cable TV all the time, and I've never like really paid attention. You know what I mean? Like I've watched and not, not I've not watched the whole thing. And that's what I was telling the last night. I think that's the first one I've ever watched the whole thing. Anyways, they said something so dirty, and I Will was sitting in the middle because him and I were sharing popcorn, and Tegan didn't want any popcorn, so Will sitting in the middle of us. And they said something so inappropriate, and I know my face. I was, like, dying, and I look over at Will, and he spits his water out because we are so embarrassed that we have taken at this movie, and something is said, so we go Was it girl. PG whatever? It was, no, it was, like, a rated R, but, like, that was the only part of the movie that, like, I felt like was inappropriate. You know what I mean? That was, like, oh, she's 13. She shouldn't have been watching this. Oh, gosh. But, anyways, so, they say it, and I am, I am dying in my seat, like, wanting to crawl out of the deal because it was inappropriate. So it was just, it was words that were said. It wasn't even, like, an action or anything like that. Like, it was just words that kind of smells mouth. But it made me feel very awkward and made Will feel very awkward. You're making awkward. me feel awkward. Oh, listen, I told Will when we Talk dropped her off, I said, what did she say? Like, what was the expression on her face? I said, I can't even imagine because I, I would was hope dying. she was, like, didn't understand Will that. said, oh, no, I know she understood it because oh, no. some of the stuff that she's told me about her friends talking about, she definitely understood it. Will said she didn't smirk. She didn't side-eye. She didn't. She just looked ahead. And I remember being, like, around her age and, like, us watching a show or something and it having something, like, dirty on it and watching it with mom and dad and Trying feeling. to pretend you didn't know. Yeah. yeah. And so, dude. I mean, I don't remember that, but I figured that's what you were going to say. Sits there and, like, does not. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> I, I was dying. I recall my parents watching TV and they sure as hell did ever took me to a movie. Well, they never took me to. I mean, no, we did. We went to a movie every year on their anniversary. We would go to a movie. And then. They took you? Yeah, they took me and Ryan. Do you not know the story that I never got left? <laughs> I was not a normal kid. My dad, Matt. Okay, you can ask Christy. Christy will tell you the story. Ryan cried the entire time. They kept him once. They tried to keep us once, and Ryan Who? cried the entire time. Christy and Kim were supposed to be keeping me and Ryan. Oh, Ryan so your cried. parents could go on a date. Yeah, Ryan mm -hmm. cried the entire time. And they, dad How said, old would he after have been? that, a baby. I mean, I probably would have been four. Um, dad said after that, which my dad was always this way, where if we couldn't go as a family, then he didn't need to go and my mom didn't need to go. So the fact that I go to a lot of concerts and stuff all the time still blows my mom's mind because that's how they were. Like if we couldn't all go as a family, nobody went. And anyway, so my parents on their anniversary, they took Ryan and I to the movies every year. We went to the same place and we went like to the Christmas lights and went to Shawl Sorry. 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 Sorry
So, anyways, there's Chase that. is dead set on us going somewhere. It's our 10 year. Mm -hmm. And he is dead set on us going to Mexico. He wants to go back where we went with our friend group a couple years ago. But here's the problem. What? I want to go in September, October. Because I don't want to miss a weekend at Watonka. Yeah, no, I would want to go in the summer or winter time. That's what I said. It that? like yeah. adds on like, when it's cold. And he's like, "You there. love Latonka that much." I'm like, "It's not even about me loving Latonka. It's about getting an extra weekend at the beach or at the lake." Yeah. Like I don't want to trade Latonka for the beach. I want to be like, "Oh, it's cold here. I can't go to the lake." So let's go there. So I'm trying. I need the soccer set schedule so well, I can. And also, when y'all got married. Yeah. You didn't realize you were going to have a store and it was going to be like the week yes, of so the long the weekend, rodeo. Yes. Like. What? I am talking. I love it. I see the braids. They're so cute. When we, we didn't think oh, we She's didn't on think my horse today. I'm not trying to be rude to her. <laughs> Y'all think she just came over once? No, it's been a... Let me be honest. It's only been since we walked in the store and she's just been... Kaylee says she does it all the time. She says as soon as she gets the doors that she... She used to thought it was just me, but then I left her alone. And it's just an still. audience in general. And then she just... She needs leveled. Chase keeps telling me I'm being mean to her. And I'm like, no, I'm leveling her ass at 8 because I am not dealing with this at 12 and 13. Yeah. Like, she could be bigger than me. Probably she's probably going to be taller than me. I'm going to be like... Anyways, y'all will thank me. Y'all don't want to know a little brat on the roads. And please do it to your kids too because I don't want to deal with your kids either. So... Smack your kids at eight. They need it. I mean, not really. Unless they need that. But, you know, like, a, get out of the way. What was I talking about? We were talking about your anniversary. The oh, fact my that gosh. We didn't think so about that when you got married. It's tax-free weekend. <laughs> yeah. So, we're on the boat yesterday, and he was like, you see, it's tax-free weekend. And Chrissy was like, oh, she can't do it tax-free weekend. I was like, thank you. Thank you. Because he is, it, like, yeah. looking at me like I'm crazy. Which is also the weekend before the long rodeo, and we're selling rodeo tickets. We took over the Crutcher sponsorship. I'm like, this is a huge sponsorship for us. Yeah. We need, I need to be here. Why don't y'all go in like November? We could. He just needs me to give him a date. He needs okay. it. He needs it. Both. We'll look at shoes. Which shows, is normally then... me, but he loved that place, which I did too. So. Or y'all could even. Well, I was about to say Christmas. You could really go to the end of January after Christmas. He ain't gonna wait till January. Or not January. End of December. Like when we have that slow week. Between Christmas and setting up for OY or like not OY. I think my best bet is gonna be the longest he'll go is October. Okay, we'll look. But we have always done our friend group trips in October. But I gotta look at soccer. Yeah. <sighs> if we would have known that uh, she was gonna have a store when you got married, you probably wouldn't yeah. have. We probably probably been a different day. <laughs> probably. Got and... When would you have got married? I don't know. You know, because they joke about Can't like marry. farmers. You don't want to marry them in certain times. Like I married Will at the. I should have done summertime. It took us of. 30 minutes to figure out how long we'd actually been together yesterday. Chrissy was like, what year? Still thought it was, or Chase thought it was 2011, but we finally agreed 12. it was 12. Yeah. yeah. Like it's 12. <laughs> I know. It's I also said that we met at a football October. game, and he was like, it was a like Casey Donahue concert. It was, it was a Casey Donahue concert. I think concert. it was the last weekend of October. Either way, I was in Stillwater for a <laughs> football game, right? No. Yes, we went to a football game the next day. No, you. it was Sunday the next day. You had taquitos in an Arab mattress the next day. And then you went home. No, that's day two, I think. I think we were there the whole weekend. Friday night, we went to Casey Donahue. Saturday morning was the... No. Saturday was the concert. So, we might have went to a ball game that day, but I, don't, I remember us getting ready all day at my house. Mm -hmm. Me and Kaylee Brooke getting ready, and then you getting there, and then us going to the concert. So, that's what I was thinking. I know there might have been a game. One night. I think it was a game. He showed up at the football game the next day and tried to hang out. No. No? No. Hmm. No. Maybe no. Right. They, they, yeah, Kaylee called. Chase didn't well, get her okay. phone number. And so, I'm like, can I give Kaylee, can I give your phone number? Kaylee's like, yeah, sure. I didn't quite say yeah. I was like, oh, I don't think so. <laughs> but yeah. You said he's from Walters, I think, was one of the first. <laughs> I, mean, I live in Dallas. <laughs> That's exactly how she was acting, too. <laughs> She's like, I mean, I guess. Like, a week later, I was like, I'm moving home. <laughs> Literally, no, she calls, I think, uh, and she's like, hey, I think I'm going to come up and go to where? We went to D&D. &D. Yeah, D&D. And, &D. I, and I was like, you're what? You're no. driving up? I mean, like, I was excited. I was like, okay. I wasn't mad about it. I know. I can't keep track, Ashley. Now I'm going to have to, like, go back and look at pictures. 
I really think it was a Casey Donahue concert. He says it was a Casey Donahue concert. And yes, I know we were at the Tumbleweed. I, I didn't realize it was a concert. I knew yeah. we were at the Tumbleweed. Because, yeah, because there was supposed to be a whole group of them coming up to go to that concert. No, I remember that. This Saturday. This Saturday. Worked out good for me. Yeah. Sorry about you. It's perfect, perfect. Um, you don't think that there was a game the next day? No. Everybody came That it might have just... been in November. I, it was the end of either October or no, November. He, no, he said it was November. Okay, well then it, yeah, then there probably wasn't a game. Games in not at the end of November. They're normally done like Thanksgiving weekend. I don't know. We'll have to go back to this. I just think I had to come on a Friday night. I got there right before the concert. That wouldn't make sense for me. I'm going to go back and look through my Facebook pictures from 10 yeah, years ago so we can figure this out. Well, no, this would have been 12, I guess. Yeah. 12. 12 years ago. I so, okay. yes, y'all, that is Kaylee and Chase's love story. Yeah, their love story. And love. you know, we're getting engaged in February. Right, that's what, well, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what I was telling Chrissy. I was like, no, we weren't together that long. Mm. We met in November, got engaged the following February, got married in August. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways. In the lifetime of love. So what's she saying? She probably shouldn't have got married the first weekend of August. I'm not sure he's happy with his decision, but, you know. If we had known, you could have done that. We, well, and at the time we were sitting there and we were like, we're, remember Lacey and them flew back for the rodeo. Cause like they had like the rodeo fell weirdly on the same weekend you were getting married that year. No, you mean I got there halfway through the rodeo. No, I thought Lacey flew back. Okay. They all made it for the rodeo. Okay, well, that's I, what I meant. Chase like, and I missed part of the rodeo. Okay, that's what I was thinking. Mm -hmm. I was like, I knew that there was a. Like, we made it for the, like the last deal night. with the rodeo. We got married the whole... on the second. And him and I flew out immediately, so we made it for like the last night. Okay. Because we got to Belize on the third. Okay. We didn't have that. Okay. I'm like, also, no, we got married at the courthouse on July 29th, so technically I should have two anniversaries, but he doesn't ever play along. I like my I'll text him and ask him. You'll ask him what? I'll be like, why aren't you getting Kaylee a two anniversary No, present? don't, because I got him nothing for Father's Day, and he got me great Mother's Day. We no, we're just late on it. I'm I know. I know. I told him those are being made. I was like, they're just not ready. Yeah, literally. Y'all, what did you get your um, husband's for Father's Day? Literally bought mine something at the trade I mean, show this. that he said he liked. Yeah, that's what he walked by. And he's like, I like that. And I was like, okay. No, I meant my face. So, like, so. you got this. Happy Father's Day. Did you see that on TikTok? All the um, wives that are like, give the fathers the same energy they give the moms. I was cracking what? up. There's this one girl. And like the guy, it's supposed to be like, I guess if the husbands don't make a big deal about Mother's Day, that you're not supposed to make a big deal about Father's Day or whatever, so I was cracking up that this Ours girl... Ours went the opposite, and I'm feeling bad about it now that you're talking about this. <laughs> well, the girl was like, uh, she like, sh she basically dresses up like a guy, so she's the girl in the guy part. And she like, is reading a book, and the guy walks up, and he's like, so, what, what's for breakfast? Like, anything special? She's like, I don't know, the kids have cereal, like, you, you can have whatever you want. And he's like, uh, okay, where, where are the kids? And she's like, they're outside playing, and he's like... Uh, okay, so are they going to hang out all the time? She's like, I don't know. They're kids. I don't know. And he's like, well, did you do anything special for me today? And she was like, I mean, is today a big deal? And I was like cracking up watching it, like dying. I thought it was so funny. I don't seem sissy. Okay. 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 But anyways, we were dying. All right, we've jacked our jaw long enough. Oh, well, I hope you'll have a great day. I'm going to have to go look. Ashley, I'll go look at that dragon. What is it about, though? Tell me what it's about. What was that called? A dragon. What'd she say? I House do like a little of bit of sci-fi. I like um, some like vampire stuff and witch stuff. I do like stuff. Like Did that. I tell you about the stupid ride? Ruby! Oh, it's Brooklyn. And we Ruby. got on one of the Star Wars rides because they were like, they're like the highest rated rides. Because mm -hmm. people love Star Wars. We get in there. And I'm thinking it's going to be the where you drive through the things. Uh -huh. Walk away from me. Well, I want to hear. And it was one of those. It was like a big screen deal. Y'all with the glasses. Still, what is the problem? Oh, and those make you so sick. I yank my glasses off. And Chase is like, I'm like, no. There's no puke bags. Like, they should warn you. They should warn you. She is the most car sick, seasick person I literally know in my no, entire life. No, Taryn's worse. Taryn is worse. They're, I don't know if that's possible. Listen, poor Kyle and Chase. Taryn and I are so much alike. We are mean. We are control freaks, but we are control freaks because we both get so sick. That's why we're always driving. 
But anyways, I yanked those glasses. I was so mad. And then I just like, you try to shut your eyes because if you watch it, you're still going to be sick. We get off, we're like, that was on the highest rated rides. Like, what is wrong with the world that everybody can sit through this? Well, Cheryl and I were giggling when you were talking about being sick on the plane. Oh, because Ricky, I said, got sick on the plane, didn't I? I was like, you better give me a hurt my ears. So yeah, her normally, ears were popping bad this time. Whenever it's Kaylee and I flying, I'm like, yeah, she gets sick like every time. And Cheryl's like, she does? And I was like, yeah, but she goes to sleep. I was like, this time she had her kids. Normally it's me and she's not worried about me and she goes to yeah, sleep. Yeah, I just like, pass out. She was paying Because I get sick going kids, up I'm and sure. coming down. I figured that was what it was, was mm -hmm. that she was worried about down. the kids. And, um, well, no, she kept asking me spider stuff. She was learning to play spider solitaire and she was waking me up. She didn't realize I was going to puke on her. Yeah, literally. Your mom gets so sick. So Y'all know it gets always hot going time. up. You get hot coming down. You get hot. Ugh. I told Cheryl, I'm like, I literally turn my vent on and point it on Kaylee. I'm trying to get her as much air flow as possible. So sick. So Luckily, sick. I don't. I what do we got going on today? You um, and Christy, I accidentally already paid, but I need to do payroll for the other girls. Um, I am going to come and show y'all some stickers, I think, here in a little bit, y'all. I found a mountain of stickers on my desk. I cleaned my desk on Friday, and I found a mountain of stickers, and Kate, Christy, and I talked about it. They'd be perfect for oh, your Yeti cups. Let's load these hats today. And we'll we're going to get some hats, hats on. Um, they're That's 75. Yep. Okay. 75 real turquoise. We'll get these added. I'm going to put them over here. Y'all don't want me taking pictures. My hair's wet. I think there are some more over there, too, but I need to dig through and find them. Okay. Um, so, anyways, I'm going to go live this afternoon. Are those stickers in the system? Um, Kylie took pictures of all of them. Okay. I don't know if they were in the system. Let's get them in the system. Um, but I'll go live Before this afternoon. Go live, I mean. I'm going to package some orders this afternoon. I'll oh, who cleaned too. your desk? That's I what did. you wanted me. That's what I... You cleaned it yourself. Go ask Christy. No one. I, will. I was trying to sit there and do some work, y'all, and I have. Did you do it before and after? No, I should have. Um, Kaylee, they always aggravate me about being chaos, and I am chaos, but because it stresses me out. And it stresses me out, and it gets to the point where it was, it was stressing me out too much. I didn't know like there she was had, some like, stuff boxes. over there. We had been just like putting stuff in her car, like take this home. Why no, like this? I told Christy, I stacked it all here, and I was like, all the shit needs to go in my car. And so Christy helped me take it all to my car. I yeah, mainly told Christy. her not to forget it was there because yeah. I was like, do not let me forget it. I need to so, like, poop I did my hair. clean. I didn't my use my thicket desk. cream today. I forgot. I need to. Poop but it. so I'm going to show some stickers this afternoon. I'm going to show some caps this afternoon, and then I'm going to go live doing some shipping this afternoon on oh, stuff. Yeah. So if you ever buy well, like on shipment. Saturday or Sunday, um, they You'll normally get shipped is. out Hold on Monday. On. You go stay on. I bet this box. Oh, she's like so excited over something. She just realized that this box might be something else. We did get all new makeup, or not all new makeup. We got a bunch of new makeup. What is it? I, she's mouthing to me, and I don't have my glasses on. So I, don't I, the, I don't want the kids to tell Chase. Uh -huh. This is the thing I got that I told y'all we weren't going to tell Chase about. Ten years of marriage, you lie. Party. Oh, yeah. And I got two, so you can borrow one, too. Okay, what is it? I wanted it Saturday for the game. Oh, it's a cut. I have to edit my videos, too. Okay, ready? <laughs> that is so cool. And it has a horn. It's called the loud cup. So you can drink out of this side. So Chase won't know that I can. But at the ball game, that is going to be freaking awesome. I cannot wait. I, I can't show Brecklin because I don't want her to tell. Yeah, she's totally going to tell. Don't worry. That is funny, y'all. So she's got this fancy we little We our first. Hey, you need to put on your schedule. July 1st is our first summer softball game and we play Ashley's team. Oh, okay. Okay, one more time just for fun. She's not even, oh, she's looking. It's me, I'm just whistling weird. Doesn't it sound funny? Oh, they're braiding each other's hair. Yeah. Holler at me, y'all, I'll send y'all. The link. The link. They targeted me on Facebook and I had to do it. So, all right, y'all, we gotta go for Brecklin figures it out. We're gonna do it every year because we are not gonna, do oh, damn it, it says it. I'll hide that, Chase. I'll never put a sticker on it. I'll put a sticker on it. After you do your... I cannot wait. I texted in the soccer group and told all the soccer family, because Chase isn't in the group, I was like, y'all, Chase has no idea I ordered this cup, and we're going to do this, and it's going to be so funny. Literally. And then all the games after, he'll quit setting by me, I'm sure. But I'll do that softball, too. Yeah, that'll be funny. Ready, one more. She didn't look up there. Okay. 
Okay, well, mm -hmm. we're gonna get off here. Thanks for hanging out with us and chit chatting and doing our makeup. Catch me live and in a little bit. Hopefully, every stickers, Monday we can do caps. this again now that I don't get my hair washed on Monday. Literally for just a little <sighs> while. Until the rodeo, and then she's gonna want her extensions back in. No. Uh, now look now she's like now that it's out of her hair she's like yeah. no i'm taking a break i'm doing it i'm doing it i told will yesterday i had my hair in a ponytail and the all my the hair has grown so much this much of my ponytail is so thin and i told him i said what would you do if i just cut all that off and he was like i mean i don't care if you cut your if that's what you want to do but it was just it looks so thin so anyways okay we're getting off here for real we'll catch you guys later